Okay, hopefully we can keep the stream up. Okay, um, so this is Mary, our Christmas Eve cat. I'm sure that most of you guys are familiar with the story, but um, she showed up on Christmas Eve outside the house here and went around and peeked in all the windows and she was meowing and trying to get in and um, we let her in and uh, saw that she was bleeding quite heavily and so ended up rushing her to the emergency vet where she spent the night and uh, you're so tall and they had uh, discovered a single heartbeat uh, of a kitten but her body was in the process of um, terminating the pregnancy and that's what that's why she was bleeding and oh get it get it she's so cute i wish i had brought my camera i should go get it <laughs> you're so cute so um they were preparing to do an emergency spay that morning, but we thought because we thought if there is a viable um, kitten um, that's still surviving in there, we sh we wanted to give give the kitten a chance and um, not preemptively abort if there was uh, any chance that it could survive. 
Um, we knew going into it that the, it was pretty much, you know, they assured us that the chances of survival were incredibly slim, probably non-existent, and that, um, but that that no harm would come to Mary in us waiting a couple of days um, to see to see what happened. So. When she came home the next day from the emergency clinic, um, Loana was here doing some snuggles and she started having contractions and she pushed out um, three uh, babies that were not, that were, the two, two were quite undeveloped and one was a little further along, but um, none of them were close to being viable. So, um, and they had all already passed. So, um, and then since then, she has not been bleeding. She's been eating like a horse. She's been very happy, very comfortable, very clean. As you can see, she actually, she's trying to clean her. Her belly got shaved a little bit more today and she's got a little bit of the, uh, ultrasound lubricant on there so she's trying to keep herself clean. Come here. Oh, aren't you so sweet? She says, I will face you while I clean my belly. So um, uh, I wanted her to have a couple of days up to just be safe and warm and have as much food as she wants and to have lots of love and um, kind of give her body a few days to settle down and then recheck and see if um, one of the one of the three um, fetuses that she expelled was the one that had previously had the heartbeat or if there was still one in there. Um, so we had our ultrasound and x-ray today um, and we didn't see anything in there that looked like a kitten. So, um, but she has been eating so much and she had a lot of poop in there and that makes it hard to see everything. Um, so we're pretty sure, but I would say not quite a hundred percent that she, uh, no longer has any, um, babies inside. Um, the plan is to take her in on Tuesday for a spay but prior to that she will be fasted for the night and then we will do another x-ray and ultrasound just to make sure before the surgery proceeds um just just to make sure because it was while we're fairly certain um we just want to make extra sure so either way uh we'll know for sure and then if if we're confident that there's nothing left in there, then um, she will have her stay and then she will become available for adoption. So, um, yeah, so I know that some, probably many of us were secretly very hopeful that, you know, maybe this, we would have a little miracle baby, but um, ultimately, medically, this is the, the best outcome for her. Um, we did see that her uterus is, is full of some fluid and some stuff, and um, it's not a healthy uterus, so it definitely needs to come out. And so it's better that it comes out sooner rather than later. Um, and there, there was definitely a reason that her body was was actively trying to terminate the pregnancy because I she wanted to be how adorable you are. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, so sweet. So sweet. So sweet. Aren't you so sweet? Oh, oh she's so sweet. So sweet. Oh yes. Such a good girl. So um yeah, so there could have been any number of reasons, whether um, there were genetic deformities or 
uh, virus, it could be viral, it could be any sort of number of things that her body knew that these, these babies were not going to survive, or um, perhaps she was malnourished. Well, she definitely was malnourished, but that could have been a reason too. So um, at least we know that we did everything we could and um, she will get her fairy tale ending sooner as a result of, of if we do, uh, we are able to go through with this day. Oh, did I eat your ears? She's still itchy from her ear mites. Oh, there, that's good though, huh? Um, yeah, so, so I know it's kind of, you know, it's always hard. It's always, it's always a tough thing, but ultimately this is, this is what's best for her. It gets her into a home sooner where she will have so much love and so much happiness and always a full belly. She's going to go over there now. <laughs> she looks like she's going to sneeze or scratch her ear. Oh, that's so sweet. She's so sweet. And the good thing is, of course, that she wasn't, she didn't have to go through any of this alone. And Luana was with her during the worst part. Gwen was with her during her hospital stay. So she was surrounded with love and wonderful people. And, um, so she will, she will get her happily ever after very soon. I did, I did clean her ears uh, yesterday. And uh, Dr. Ferguson said they look pretty good. So that's good. Yes, I did clean her ears too. Oh, and she's so good at the vet. She was so patient. What? With that? With that? Oh. So, if anyone is uh, looking for an incredibly sweet look at who just loves, 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 loves people, and she just wants to be loved and she purrs, she's very tall. She's very tall. Um, she's about about two years old, so she's still just little, and um, so beautiful. So if you're interested, or if you know someone who might be interested in such a lovely cat, lovely cat, my cat sweet, um, an expert biscuit maker, you can go to tinykittens.com slash adopt. So sweet. I'm so sweet. Oh my goodness. And fill out an application. Um, so if we proceed on Tuesday, she would be available to go home as soon as Wednesday. She may need, um, she would probably need a round of meds, uh, pain meds after that. And because because um, of the condition of her uterus, it may be she may be on antibiotics or something like that. So there may be just a little bit of um, aftercare required um, if if she goes home that quickly. So, um, but like this could be you could have this little per machine biscuit maker in your life. Oh, it's such a good little little snuggle bunny. She's so sweet. She loves being in your lap. She's been really good in this room. She's not like a door dasher or anything like that. She loves her food. She loves to eat so much. She's so sweet. Oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, so it's been quite interesting with her, um, but it's good to have, it's good to have a better idea of what's going on in there and to have a date for a spay and hopefully we can, hopefully someone really wonderful is out there watching and wants to 
make up for lost time with her and, and give her the best life that she deserves. No more out in the cold trying to find someone to let you in. No. She's so sweet. Do you hear the purrs? She also has very beautiful, unusual markings. She's very stunning. Oh, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Biscuits. Oh, so many biscuits. So many biscuits to make. Oh, is that your belly? Is that your belly? Oh, you're just so sweet. So we do consider um, out of province or out of country even adoptions for um, if, if it would result in an exceptional home. Um, the one requirement is that we have to meet you in person so you would you would probably have to come out here. Sometimes I can deliver, but probably not. There's too much going on right now. Get some fluff. We maybe maybe we need to go. So nice. She just loves it. She loves all the attention she can get. Oh, she's so sweet. Must make biscuits. Your little shaved tummy. Oh yeah, she would actually be a good cat, cafe cat. Now the one thing, I haven't had her with uh, other cats or dogs or anything like that, so I don't know how she would do. She's pretty laid back. Um, and generally, if you introduce cats properly, it just it might take a little bit of time, but generally it ends up being okay. Um, she does have a uh, a little bit of a, a smudge or a spot on her nose um, that is not food. She's got some cleaning to do. so cute. So there you get some up close grooming shots. So that's the so that's the update. Um, yeah she clearly has been with humans at some point in her life. Um, I know a lot of people think that she must have been loved and maybe she's um, just you know gotten lost or something. Um, but if you look at Jingle Jingle from the Ringworm Romper Room. He was never anyone's pet, and you see how affectionate he is. Um, he has been around people um, because of his personality. He he interacted more with the people on the on the property, but um, he was never anyone's pet. So I think it's just the individual personality of the cat. And she has a very um, gregarious, wonderful, outgoing personality. She's very sweet. But imagine what will happen. Imagine what will happen when uh, she does have a home of her own and someone to love her. I bet she will just blossom. 
she's got lots of cleaning to do after her long. We were at we were at Mountain View for quite some time. Just because uh, they were being very thorough and trying to check everything. He's so pretty. Are you so pretty? Yeah, she's very confident, and uh, so she's she's the opposite of all all of the uh, former feral cats we have, except Jingle. Um, so if you're not sure that you're ready for a what what uh, a former feral might require by way of quiet household and uh, patience and all of that stuff, and if you want a cat that you know will hang out with your visitors, this would be the cat for you. She's pretty awesome. She's pretty awesome. Everyone, everyone, all of the snugglers have fallen in love with her. So. Of course, we will need several wonderful homes for our former ferals in the upcoming weeks also. So if you want to give a wonderful life to a cat that uh, would otherwise be really cold in the forest right now. We hope you will apply too. So help spread the word if you guys know someone. If you know someone who uh, is looking for a single cat, you know that I usually like to adopt out in pairs. So here's your chance to adopt a single, a single tiny kitten. who is very neat and clean. You're pretty cute. And sometimes if you have a shy cat, um, sometimes bringing in an outgoing cat will help your shy cat feel more confident. She's very cute. So that's the update. So uh, Smuggler Lori is going to be here this evening, so everyone is in for a treat. She gets good snuggles. And Mary will be very clean for her. <laughs> very clean. 
we'll probably have to do some vacuuming in here soon. I've been trying to keep it super low stress, no vacuuming, you know, not a lot of activity, but I think that she's been doing pretty well. Oh, look, did you forget the tunnel? Oh, it's so cute. So cute. Your little cabinet. You little cabinet. Oops. Hey, so sweet. Just so sweet. Yeah, she probably could could use a. Uh, some fermenting and you know that sort of thing. She's definitely gotten lots of snuggles though, and she's she's very clean because she you can see she keeps herself very clean. But uh, there is a little bit of miscellaneous fluff that could be cleaned. You've got so much washing to do. Have to get all the vet smell off. <laughs> but uh, other than that, she's doing really well. Still a little itchy from the earwipes. And it'll be nice to get her uterus situation taken care of before it gets infected. Oh, aren't you sweet? Aren't you sweet? Me too, sweet. Oh, that was sweet. It's the little itchy ears. That will go away. Hopefully by next week that will be a lot less itchy. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Aren't you just so cute? Oh, you're so cute. What a little love you are. Oh my goodness. So adorable. So adorable. Biscuit time. First we wash and then we make biscuits. So thank you to everyone who um, helped cover her uh, emergency clinic stay. That was really wonderful. And um, And we will have enough to cover her stay also and her um, uh, x-ray and ultrasound today. So thank you very, very much for that. Um, you guys made her Christmas miracle possible. And now she's going to get a home, a home for the new year. She's so sweet. I'm glad you're safe and feeling good. Oh, time for a little nap. Okay. You're so cute. 
All right, so you guys can see she's doing quite well. She has gained some weight. She's definitely filling out, which is nice. She's eaten a ton, so she's making up for lost time. And um, so I'm going to go and stop in the other room. I will, maybe I'll leave the camera on in here for a bit so you guys can watch her being adorable. She likes to look out the window. Maybe I will set her up on her shelf. I think the camera will stretch. Oh, the camera is on the And I'm not sure, and Lori's coming at some point, so I'm not sure uh, when, but this evening, at some point, she will be here. Hello, hi, little people. You want to go to your little perch? This is where she hangs out all the time. I guess I will have to somehow. <laughs> Quit this camera. Oh, it's so sweet. Up in here. Oh, look at her. So you guys just watch and fall in love. Submit your applications. Tinykittens.com slash adopt. Oh, she's so sweet. So sweet. I'm going to find some tape. So much purring. So much purring needs to happen right now. So much purring. Oh my goodness, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. You did.